Hi, you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Wednesday. Over here in the Atlantic, the most immediate threat from the tropics right now is Invest 93L down here in the Central Caribbean, small little system that has been impressive in this area of the Central to Eastern Caribbean where tropical waves generally don't like to organize a whole lot. But this system has looked pretty nice since the last day or two. You can see there is a consolidated area of convection over what is a well-defined mid-level circulation, but it hasn't worked its way down to the surface just yet, and we're still stuck with an open surface trough uh, here, and the pressures aren't really falling that much with this. If we look at a buoy that's right here near the circulation, the pressures really haven't done a whole lot over the last uh, several hours since yesterday, and are rather steady way up near 1,012 millibars, and that's not boding well for this, getting its act together, but it's just now passing the 75 west marker that I talked about. Once it gets out of this area and air starts piling up more in this area, it may have more of a chance to get going. The problem for the system today is that the steering winds are a little different than I thought they were yesterday. They looked like they were going to be just north of west and take it towards the Yucatan here. Today they look a little bit more bent towards the west-southwest here. You can see the flow right in here ahead of the system would tend to bring this down towards Honduras and Nicaragua, an odd track given, but it is something that could take this into land quicker, which in some sense is good news because it wouldn't allow it to develop very fast because if it got in here it would have more time over water to be more of an issue. And we can see that the steering currents here are actually showing that from CIMSS. Here's our system, 93L, and you can see that the lines bend a little bit west-southwest here towards Honduras and Nicaragua. If we go up to the deeper steering layer, the currents are still just north of west here, which could bring it more over water. If it were to develop rapidly, it would be steered more by these deeper steering currents and get over water perhaps more towards Belize eventually. Uh, but chances are it's not going to develop rapidly over the next 24 hours, and if it was going to develop rapidly, it would be in here. But to get here, would be hard given that we have this currents trying to force it south into Central America more quickly. And thus this may be something that these folks in here have to watch more. Belize should keep an eye on it as well, but this is coming in farther south uh, than we thought it was yesterday or where I thought it was yesterday. But it is trying to wind up here, and if pressures start falling, we could see a tropical depression or storm in this area before it tries to run into land or scrape the coast in here. So it's something for these folks to keep an eye on. It will be a rain producer, if nothing else, and uh, we can see that it's trying to wind up in here. The models had dropped it and left it for dead, but it is showing signs of wanting to make some noise here, so we will be keeping a close eye on this. These are the models on it. Again, in agreement here with the with the steering, bringing it farther south into the Honduras area. I'm I'm inclined to agree with the BAM suite in a situation like this, where the steering currents are fairly solid, and the system is in the deep tropics, which tropics with no dynamic changes in the steering really occurring for the next couple of days. The BAM suite here should be doing a good job, and I generally agree with this track uh, towards the northeast tip of Central America here. Again, farther south than I thought it was going yesterday, but things change and these folks in here should keep an eye on the system. The other thing that we are watching closely out here is uh, this large spin of circulation out here in the eastern Atlantic. This is our tropical wave that we talked about that came off of Africa yesterday. And again, we have one of these large broad circulations that has a lot of dry air, Saharan air layer wrapping into it out of the north, and will keep the convection down with this as it comes farther west. And again, this isn't going to die. What this is going to do is past 50 west, the waters get a lot turn on the sea surface temperatures. It's over. It's warm enough water to support a tropical cyclone, but it's cooler than where it is over here. It starts to get really warm here west of 50 west, and just like we had with Dawn, with Emily, with 93L, with all these big waves that came off, uh, they're going to wait to flare up until they get past 50 west, and once it gets in here, we could see some development begin with this as it starts to moisten up the environment. And we do have a lot of models starting to agree that this will develop and be some kind of a threat in this area of the world down the road here. Just to line out the model support, we have the GFS by day 8 has a hurricane in the Bahamas. We have the European, a weaker storm, but a storm east of Florida in 10 days that will likely make landfall given, again, this ridge here. Notice how flat the flow is to the north. This would likely be a landfalling storm right into the southeast coast if this were to come true. We have the Canadian day 10 shows a hurricane making landfall in southeast Florida. 
and we have the UK Met out to day six, which is as far as it goes, showing the system developing here to closed ISO bars uh, just northwest of Puerto Rico by this time, and it's moving in this general direction towards the Bahamas. Uh, there is a shred of good news in the model world in that the NAFE's ensemble mean is about the only model I can find here that shows recurvature of this system out to sea here. And it is worth bringing this up because I should point out that this pattern that we're going towards could support recurvature. Landfall is not guaranteed here, especially when we're talking about a system that's still way out here. We're six to ten days away from it affecting land areas significantly, so to guarantee landfall at this point would be unwise. It could also do this, and it would be nice to see it if it did this, hopefully avoiding Bermuda if it did so. Um, but this pattern does favor landfalls more than recurvatures, and this pattern that we've been talking about is a dangerous one and uh, this is something that we're going to have to watch very closely over the next several days again lots of details can't be known but the general idea here we have another broad empty wave that is well defined coming west will hit the warm water in here and probably start to develop and the nature of it staying weak until that far west means that it comes farther west and it comes in here and these troughs try to dig down into the western Atlantic and recurve the system but they don't like to stay there very long given the overall pattern they lift out to the northeast the flow becomes flatter off to the north and then the ridge noses in and tries to bring storms like this into the coastline so that's the overall pattern that we've been discussing something that could be uh, something for the folks in the Northeast Caribbean and the Southeast U.S. and the Bahamas to watch carefully uh, down the road here. Not a big concern right now, not an immediate threat for development, but could be something to watch for these folks. And of course, we will keep our first eye on 93L as that will be a system affecting land guaranteed, probably somewhere in here or perhaps Belize as well over the next few days. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.